Hey there, everybody. This is CP Cards and Dice, and welcome to a Back to Basics tutorial using the 1970 Mets. It's Tom Seaver at uh, St. Louis at the Cardinals. And um, it's going to be Tommy Agee leading off of the Mets, season center field, Bud Harris in the shortstop, Joe Foy, the third baseman, batting cleanup for the Mets is Cleon Jones. Don Clendenin is the first baseman, Ron Sabota, the right fielder. Jerry Grody, the catcher, batting eighth is Al Weiss, the second baseman, and batting ninth is Tom Seaver. Tom Seaver will be facing Steve Carlton. Seaver does have the advantage in the 1970 season. And um, we're right about to get started. Lou Brock is in left field. Cardinal, Jose Cardinal in center, and the right fielder is going to be Lee Ron Lee. Around the horn starting third base is Dick Allen. At shortstop is Maxville. Javier at second base, and the first baseman is Joe Haig. Catcher's Joe Torrey, and on the mound is Steve Carlton. And it's uh, this game is driven by cards. Let's see here. Let's move some things out of the way a little bit so we can have a little bit better view and uh, get the cards into view. And I will be flipping onto the screen so you'll be able to see that. So let's get started with Tommy Agee. Pitcher is going to be a C, so it's going to be a short fly to center field. That's going to be one out. Coming over is the center fielder, Cardinal. All right. C is a swing. That tells us to go to the next card. And to look at the batter, which who is Buddy Harrison, and he's a D, and he flies one. Medium right field. And Lee Ronald Lee puts it away. Up comes Joe Foy. That's a short fly to left. Three up, three down, three fly balls, no runs, no hits, bottom of the first. St. Louis is going to bring up uh, Lou Brock, Jose Cardinal, and Dick Allen. All right, and congratulations to the L.A. Dodgers and the Tampa Bay Rays. They'll be going into this COVID World Series. All right, so it's going to be an A. It's a fly out per, uh, percentage is a potential error. So our right fielder error rating is a D. So we're going to pull a card and look in the error section under D, and he makes the catch. F9, one out, Seaver now with a swing, and against a B plus, and that's grounded to short. Harrison up with it and throws out. Jose Cardinal, now comes Dick Allen. Now all kinds of bugs are out here today because I am outdoors, playing at night outdoors. And it's Dick Allen versus Tom Seaver, and Seaver blows a fastball by Allen. No runs, no hits. We go to the top of the second. Leon Jones leading it off against Steve Carlton, the lefty. Carlton is a C, so that's a swing. And Jones is a B, and that is a ground ball to second base. That is Javier, throws out Jones. Next batter is Clendenin with one out. And that's a strikeout. A little gust of wind. Got to be careful. Cards will go flying. And it's a C. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back Ks for Carlton. No runs and no hits. We've got the bottom of the second. Joe Torrey leading it off against an A pitcher, which is a swing. So we go to Torrey now. Torrey is a A plus, and he is pops it up in field. Second baseman, Weiss is by the bag, puts it away. It's a swing to the next batter, Lee Ron Lee. Lee Ron Lee is a D, and he is going to not walk. It's going to be some sort of an out, and it's a uh, to the catcher, and it's going to be 2 3. Ground ball to the catcher, and um, Joe Haig with two outs. That's a swing. Haig is a C plus, and that is a grounded short. Harrelson throws an out. No runs and no hits. Top of the third. Jerry Grody at bat. That's a swing. Grody is a C. And it's a fly out to center field. One way. Next is Al Weiss. That's grounded out to second base. Javier. Is a D. We're going to pull a card and look at the error section because it's a percentage sign, and that's going to be a ball that 
that Javier gets to and, oh, throws over the first baseman's head, and that's going to allow Weiss to go to second base. Uh, it's going to be a two-base error on Javier. Here comes Tom Terrific. That's a C. That's ground come comebacker to the pitcher. Let's see if he advances. Um, you know what? He advances on a fielder's choice. He'll advance uh, on a fielder's choice and on an AD advance, but he'll hold on a DP. So it's a 1-3, and he holds at second. And Tommy Agee. It's a swing, and Agee is a B plus, and that is going to be a, an AB walk. He is a C, so there's no walk there. What kind of an out? Say ground ball, second base. Javier throws him out. No runs, no hits, one left, the error. And we go to the bottom of the third. It's a swing, and he is a C, and that is a, oh, it's a an A home run. Otherwise, it's a double, and it will be a double. Lead off double for Javier. Pulls one down the line into the corner. Maxwell now. Maxwell will, will hit away, and that's a strikeout. See her. Strikes out Maxwell. Here's Carlton. Carlton strikes out. And now it's Lou Brock. And he swings. And Brock is an A. And he lines one and caught by the shortstop house. And to retire the side, no runs, one hit, one left, top of the fourth. Just like that. This game really moves. It's a lot of fun. There is a lot of prep work, though. See all these stats right here? I had to input those by hand. Every time the lineup changes, you know, the order of them, in other words, this guy won't be, maybe he's sitting and then I'll have to replace him. The only one, the only way to play this game is using cards. I, I just don't see any other way. Um, this is way too much uh, work to, to do this every game. Like I have to input all these stats for the Cardinals. So if I play them again tomorrow and I need to create another sheet, I would have to input all these stats again. So that's a big issue with, with the game. Um, it's a great game. It has all the seasons. And as you can see, Carlton versus C, we got a nice little pitching duel going here. We are in the top of the fourth. All right, it's a C, and that's a strikeout, A, B, C, or D, and he is a D, so it is a strikeout, house and down swing. Foy with a swing. Foy is a D pitcher, uh, batter. So wild pitch, there's nobody on. We'll try that again. Another D, and that is a fly ball to center field. Two out. And a swing. This one's a B pitcher, and that's a ball that's driven in the gap, and that's going to split the outfielders. And it's going to be a two-out double. Here's Richardson. Uh, Clendenin, excuse me, Clendenin. We go to Clendenin, it's a B plus, and a B plus is going to be a ground ball shortstop. For some reason, I feel like I'm playing Philadelphia. I don't know why. No runs, one hit, bottom of the fourth. Seaver with a swing, he's a B plus. A B plus is a ground ball percentage Seaver. Seaver is a C, error wise, and but he'll make the play. One away. Near, here's Dick Allen. He's a, he walks ball four. Allen's on at first. Allen, I believe, has good speed. I did not look at his stolen bases. Uh, he had only five stolen bases. So he's a C, a D, and a C. And he's not going to be running here. You know what? He is going to be running. Let's take a look. A jump is a D. He does get the jump. Let's see if he gets the stolen base, and he does. There goes Allen. Throw down. Not in time. So a runner in scoring position. And it's Joe Torrey. An A is a swing. Torrey is a, an A plus, and he grounds one. Per, uh, that's a percentage. That's an, a potential error on the third baseman. Foy, he is a D, and he makes the play. Holding at second is I can always move to third if it's a DP, and it's not a DP. All right. So Leron Lee. Is up. We're on second, two outs. Pitch, and that's a fly ball right field. Let's see if Swoboda will get to it. It's a D. He's a, uh, that's a, oh, that's a range play. So he's better than that. He's actually a C range, and he will get to it. Great play by Swoboda running that ball down. 
So they leave one, no runs, no hits. They leave one to walk. And we go top of the fifth. Top of the fifth is going to be Swoboda leading it off. He swings. And a D is a A, B, C, or D is a walk. And he, Carlton is a C, so that's a walk. Swoboda's on it first. Let's see what he, what's his steal rating. The only thing I didn't write down are the steal ratings, but the, uh, Actually, I think the website has a template to create cards. I definitely need to create cards for the Nats for sure. Because otherwise, I'm cooked here. Um, let's see. Clendenin's stolen base rating is a D, a D, and a B. Let's see. Clendenin, a D and a B. He had how many stolen bases? And didn't have five stolen bases, which is uh, let me see. I got four stolen bases. All right, he's gonna get to try to get the jump. He's a, a D and a B. A D does not get the jump. So, Jerry Grody, Jerry Grody's gonna sacrifice, and he does the third base five four. Run around second. Here comes Al Weiss. That's a strikeout, and up comes Tom Seaver. That's a swing. Seaver's an, an F, and an F is a strikeout, D or F. He is a D, so he does strike out Seaver, and that retires the side. No runs, no hits, one left, bottom of the fifth. Tom Seaver to Hay. That's a strikeout, A, but Seaver's a B. So it's going to be some sort of an out. Oh, no, it's going to actually go to the batter card. And that's a C plus, and that's going to be a base hit single. Second hit of the game. Haig is on. I'm going to try to bunt. It's a good sacrifice. Five, four. We're going to second. And now it's down Maxville. And A is a line and caught by the third baseman, Foy. Nice catch. Two outs. Swing by the pitcher, who's an F, and that's going to be a, an A walk. It's not going to be a walk, so it's going to be some sort of an out. It's a ground ball. It's a shortstop, and that retires the side. No runs, one hit, no score. Here after five complete, top of the sixth. Tommy Agee with a fly ball, center field. Over is Cardinal, makes the catch. Next is a swing. And that takes us to a D. Injury. Injury to first baseman. Let's see what the first baseman is. First baseman is Haig, and Haig injury is an A, so he's not going to be injured. Oh, wait. A's do get injured. That's the first time I see an A, but I didn't pull a card. I got to pull a card, and there's no injury. All right, so we're going to pull a card again. Let's start over again. Harrelson against a C. That's a ground ball to short. And now it's Foy. That's a swing, Foy's a D, and D is a flat right. No runs, no hits. Bottom of the sixth. Lou Brock, A is a DF. It will now be a walk, so it goes to an A, and that is an, a walk AB. And uh, he's a C, so there won't be a walk, so that will be an out, kind of an out. The ground ball to the first baseman. All right now, an A walk, C, D, or F, and he's a B, so it does not. It goes to the batter. It's a B plus. B plus is a walk, A, B, C, or D, and he is a C, so he does walk. That is the first, second walk allowed by Seaver. Here, uh, Cardinal, we're going to try to get a jump with Cardinal. Let's see what Cardinal has there. Cardinal, jump-wise, has a B, B, no, a B, C. Let's try to get a jump with a B, and we do get the jump and the C, and he is safe. Stolen base for card now. Run around second. Here's Dick Allen, and yeah, that's a ground ball. See if uh, up the middle, see if Harrelson can get to it. Uh, Harrelson is an A, 
No, he's a B range, and he does get to it. So it's going to be a six to three. And let's see, a uh, fielder's choice or an advance. He does. He does advance on that. Uh, actually, no, not the shortstop. It would be only a, a DP with the advance. So he holds on that play to short. And, uh, well, that was a range play. I could play the range play. Mm, I'm going to hold off on that decision. So he's holding at second base. Here's Tori. It's a walk and F. It won't be a walk. Tori is a A+. Plus, and that is, for Tori, that is going to be a deep fly to right field to the track. And right there is Swoboda for the out. No runs, no hits, one left. All right, so 70s, early 70s baseball, a lot of stolen bases, hit and runs. I haven't learned how to do hit and runs yet, but I will. Pretty easy. Um, and then, of course, lots of sacrifices, which keeps ERAs down. All right, it's a swing. So Jones is a B, and that is going to be a ripped for a double, one hop off the wall, played by Cardinal. And into second base with a leadoff double is Cleon Jones. Hey there, guys. Molly, 55. This is a very cool game, Molly. Very fun so far. I, I, I played a couple of games, and I, I screwed up, and I had a very generous person come on and say, hey, bud, you're making some mistakes. Because I didn't, it didn't feel right. The game did not flow right. And I, and I felt that, and I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. And it was a very basic thing, something that I should have thought of, but uh, I didn't. So now I learned it, and I'm being more careful, and, and the game is flowing much better, and the, 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 the results are much more realistic. So that's the second double for Cleon Jones in this game. Here in the top of the seventh, there's no score. Cleon Jones with a double. He's at second base. And it's going to be Clendenin, who we're going to walk right here. We're going to walk Clendenin to set up the double play. And so Boda is going to square to bunt, and he will bunt. So he's pushing both over, 2-4. So second and third now. And it's going to be Jerry Grody. I'm going to play the infield in. Here's the pitch. It's a C, ground ball to third base, range. Ground ball to third base range. The third baseman is a range of C. So let's see what happens. And it is a out with the infield in and one out. Let's see what the play at the plate is. Uh, fielder's choice. Let me see. I got to look at the rules on this. I'm still learning the infield in stuff because it doesn't happen all the time. Oh, uh, Let's see. Okay, AD batter is out at first. DP batter hits the ball past the joint and C. Fielder's choice batter is safe at first. Runner on third is thrown out at the plate. So he is thrown out at the plate. And uh, that was to, I don't know, can't remember who that was to. We'll just say it's to the second baseman. But that is a fielder's choice. Runner's on first and third now. And here comes Weiss. That's a strikeout, A, B, C, or D, and he is a D, so he does strike out Weiss for the second time today, and that retires the side. So Mets threaten there for a split second. No runs, one hit, two left, and, uh, and we go to the bottom of the seventh. Here's Seaver in A, and it's a swing. We're looking at Leron Lee, a D, and that's a fly ball right field. So Boda over, makes the catch. Joe Haig, that's a walk C, D, or F, and Tom Seaver is not. He's a B. So it's going to go over to the batter card, which is a C plus, and that's a base hit center field played on a hop by the center fielder, Tommy Agee. 1970 Mets, uh, pretty much the same team that had 69. That was a good thing about old day baseball. The retro baseball, right? They kept the same teams, except they kept the same guys. It was like a job. You don't have to stand out every game. You have a job. You go to it. You do your job, and you come home. You know, you're not gonna be a star every day of the week. Um, Julian Javier steps in the box with a runner on first, and here goes. It's a swing. 
And we're going to start the card deck all over again. And let's say swing against a C. And that's going to be a base hit. And that's going to send runner to third, first and third. Now, C, I think, was 18 and 12. So he did have a bunch of losses, even though his, his ERA was about 280 in 1970. So first and third infields in for the Mets, and that is a swing. So now we're going to go to F, Maxville, and that is, oh, boy. That's a little blooper. It may fall in there. Let's see what's going to happen. Maxville is an FFF, and that's going to fall in there for a base single. And going to third is Javier that drives in a run. He drives in run number or player number six. So it runs on first and third now, and it's one nothing. So it's going to be Steve Carlton who's going to swing away. That's a swing. Carlton is an F, and that's grounded to second base. Could it be a double play? And it won't be. It's going to be a fielder's choice. Ah, no, but with the infield in, what do we say a fielder's choice was? I think he's out at the plate. Yeah, he's out at the plate. So it's a 6-2 thrown out at the plate. And now it's first and second. Again, Seaver, a swing. An A batter is a fly ball left field. So it's one nothing now. One run on three hits against Seaver. It's one nothing. And Steve Carlton against Seaver. We're going to let Seaver bat. That's a swing. Seaver's a, an F. And that's an ABC walk. And he is a C. So Seaver walks. Run around first. We're going to bunt with AG. It's, oh, they get the lead runner. There's going to be a 3 6, and AG's going to be on first. We're going to try to steal with AG. Let's see what happens here. Tommy AG had 24 stolen bases, so he is going to be a, an AC. So let's try for the A, and we get the jump, and now the C. There he goes, and he is out. McCarver. Not McCarver. Uh, who is it? Who's the catcher here? Torrey throws him out. 2 6. Oh, no, 2 4. Excuse me. Two outs. Nobody on. And Buddy Harrelson. It's a C. A walk is an F. It won't be a walk. And then we're looking at Harrelson as a D, and that is a ground at a second. Javier up with it, throws him out. No runs, no hits, nobody left. Bottom of the eighth. Tom Seaver, strikeout, strikes out. Cardinal, here comes Dick Allen. And it's going to be out off Allen, and he's a B, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. Up with it is Weiss, throws out Allen, good speed. Joe Torrey, it's going to be off Torrey's card. He's an A+, plus and he is plunked, hit by pitch. So hit by pitch for Seaver. Run around first. Here's Lee Ron Lee. It's a fly ball. Check the error on the left fielder. He's a D error, and he is going to make the catch to retire the side. No runs, no hits, one left. Top of the ninth, last licks for the Mets. Last licks for the Mets. one nothing ball game here in St. Louis, 1970. No substitutions, no 20 pitchers. I love this. I love early 70s ball, just straight up ball, schoolyard. You play the whole game. Joe Foy. All right, that's a CD or F walk, and he is a C, so Foy walks. Let's see if the Mets can tie this up. And Cleon Jones is going to bunt, and it's a good bunt. It's going to be a 2 4 sack fly, so a runner on second base now. Here is Clint Denon. Here's the pitch. That's a swing. Clint Denon is a B plus, and that is a ground ball second base. Will Javier get to it? He is an A. He does get to it. And going to third base is Foy. Tying run is 90 feet away. Two outs. Ron Sobota. Here's a pitch from Cotton. That's a swing. It's going to be off Sobota's card. That's a D, and that is a base hit. Game is tied. Ron Soboda, huge single, two-out single in the top of the ninth, ties the ball game. And he drives in the third-place batter. All right, here's Jerry Grody with a C. That's a swing. Grody is a C, and that is a ABCD walk, so it will be a walk. Runners on first and second for Al Weiss. 
That's a short fly, right field, right fielder there, and that is Lee who puts it away. But the Mets tied up in the top of the ninth inning. On a walk, sacrifice, a ground ball, and a single, a clutch single with two outs by Ron Swoboda. And the Mets leave two in that inning. All right, that was a lot of fun. So it's a 1-1 tie here in the bottom of the ninth. See, we're still in there. Both starting pitchers are still in there. And it's going to be Haig. All right, so they both gave up a run. So they're both going to be C's. I think I, I misread this, this inning here. I should have been looking at the B column. So Seaver's going to be a B. And then, um, and now from now, from this point on, Carlton's going to be a D. All right, to make up for it, the first batter is going to be a C for Seaver. And that is a ground ball second base. One out. Now he's back to a B, and that's a strikeout. And now... Another B is a swing. We're looking at an F, and that's a strikeout. Oh, an F strikeout. Otherwise, it's a regular out, and it's a ground ball second base. Three up, three down. Go to the top of the 10th. Seaver's leading it off. He's staying in there. He's gone nine so far. And that he's a D now, so that's a swing. It's off of Seaver, and it's a flat right. One out. Again, a D, that's a swing, and he is a B plus, and that is a base hit single. AG's going to try to get the jump. What was it? He was a – he was an AC. Let's write that down. He got caught last time. An A is a go, and a C is – he is safe. Stolen base. So the go-ahead run is on second base. Tommy AG, Buddy Harrelson. That's a D. That's a strikeout for an A. He's not an A. He's a D. So Buddy Harrelson is a D, and that's a fly ball center field. Two out. A D is a swing, and that is a D, and that's going to be a ground ball first base. Right there is Haig, puts it away. So no runs, one hit. It's a 1-1 ball game going to the bottom of the 10th. Both starting pitchers are still in there. So Seaver is a B this time. It's a strikeout. That was Carlton batted. And he's going to be a fly ball left field. Percentage is we're going to check for an error on the D, and it's not going to be an error. He makes the catch. Nice running catch by left fielder Cleon Jones. And the B is a deep fly to left. Then Jones on the run and tracks it down by the warning track. No runs, no hits. We go to the top of the 11th. Cleon Jones. A D, so it's going to be a B off. Uh, it's going to be a line out to second base. One away. Don Clendenin. That's a swing. Clendenin is a B plus, and that is a short fly to center. Racing in his card now makes the catch. And again, a swing. This is a D, and that is a, a walk. A, B, C, D, E, F. Yep. So two out walk to Swoboda. Let's see what kind of running opportunity or running ability Swoboda has. He is a – he stole two bases, so he doesn't have very much. All right, Jerry Grody. Here goes. A D is a swing. Grody is a C. And that is going to be a ground ball third base to retire the side. No run, no hits, one left. Probably the last inning for both starters. Bottom of the 11th for Seaver. He'll be due up next inning, so – We'll try to get him through this inning. Uh, it's going to be a B, a ground ball, second base with a range lookup. Range lookup is a D, and he gets to it. One away. All right. A B, ground ball again. Range lookup for shortstop, and Harrelson is a B, and he base hit. It's passed. So he gets past Harrelson, run around first. Joe Torrey's not going to run, and that's a B. It's a swing against a D pitcher, and that is a strikeout, D or F. It won't be a strikeout, kind of an out. It's going to be a center field, shallow center field. And A.G. makes the catch, one, two down, one on. And here's Haig. That's a B. Haig is a, is a C plus, and that's a base hit single. That's going to send Torrey to third, first and third. Two outs. 
Julian Javier. That's a B that's a strikeout A, B, C, and D, and he strikes him out. Big K for Tom Terrific. No runs, two hits. We go to the top of the 12th. I need a new pitcher now. Let's see who the typical pitcher was for the uh, the the your your kind of most uh, the go to relievers. What I'm trying to what I'm trying to say. Go to reliever is 56. Chuck Taylor. Taylor's coming in. And let's see, Chuck Taylor has a BBF. So Chuck Taylor in the top of the 12th. And we're going to get a pinch hitter here for, for Seaver. All right, here goes. So Chuck Taylor's a B, that's a swing. And Weiss is an F, and that's a fly to right. And now we're going to bring in a pinch hitter for the Mets. And Shamsky's not playing, so it's going to be Art Shamsky. And Shamsky's data is going to be a B plus BB. Let's see. B plus. And then it's a B. All right, Shamsky's up. And we'll put him in right field. All right, here's the pitch from B pitcher. That's a swing. Shamsky is a, what did I say, a B plus, And that's going to be driven. Will this be in the gap? And is a B plus. It will not be. It's going to be a base hit single. It does not hit a lot of doubles. It's a pinch hit single for Shamsky. And Shamsky does not have much um, speed. So let's see. Let's continue to play this. Uh, one out, run around first, and it's going to be Tommy Agee against a B pitcher. That's a swing. So we're looking off a B plus, and that's going to be a fly ball center field. Two down. And a swing. And here's Bud Harrelson as a D, and that is – Buddy House and the Rips one, but that's going to get cut off quickly by Cardinal, and they get it in. It's getting a single, and that's going to send Shamsky to third. So it's first and third, two outs, and here's Joe Foy. It's a swing. Foy is a D, and that is a base hit single. The Mets have taken the lead. Huge. Scores Shamsky, and stopping at second is going to be Buddy Harrelson. And that's and uh, next up is Jones, a swing and a miss, and that retires the side. But the Mets pick up the go-ahead run here. They lead it two to one. One run and three hits here in the top of the twelfth. And you know what? We pinch hit for Seaver, so we're going to have to bring in who the, who's the Mets' go-to reliever. It looks like it's going to be fifty-seven Tug McGraw. You got to believe McGraw's kind of coming in. Tug. McGraw, and McGraw stats as a reliever, a CDC. All right, apropos now for CDC. Apropos for this time of the COVID pandemic. All right, so let's get started here. It's going to be Maxville. And the C's a swing. Maxville is an F, and that is going to be a ground ball percentage second base. Second, that, that means uh, a potential error. The error is an F, and he boots it. So it's going to be an E4. Second error of the – oh, no, first error of the day for the Mets on the second baseman, Al Weiss. So we're going to have a bunt here by the pitcher, and it is a strikeout. So he fails to bunt. And now it's Lou Brock with the runner on first. And Maxville is not really a guy who's going to steal. Let's take a quick peek. Maxville does not really steal. He had no stolen bases. Okay. So here goes. Here's Tug McGraw. C. that's a swing. And Brock is an A, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. Mitchell one out away. 
from winning the ball game. Jose Cardinal with a runner on first. And here's a C. That's a swing. Cardinal is a B plus, and that's going to be a strike three. Ball game over. Tug McGraw, got to believe, with two strikeouts here for the save. One inning pitch, no hits, no runs, no earned runs, no walks for Tug McGraw. Seaver is going to get the victory. He went eight. He went actually went 11, excuse me. He went 11 and allowed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hits in 11 innings. One run, one earned run, I believe. Yep. Base on balls, one, two, two is it. So see, we're dominating again. One strike out, three, four, five, six, seven, seven strikeouts on the day for Seaver. No wild pitches. Uh, how many batters did he face? 20, 9, 18, 27, 36, 36, and four, 43 batters. And Tug and Gura faced four batters. And that's it. That's the game. That's how you play back to basics baseball. Pretty simple, pretty realistic, close game, exciting game. You had errors, you had range plays, you had walks, you had hits, you had strikeouts, and you had pretty much everything you need in a in a baseball game. Again, I just don't see this game being easily played without um, without cards. It's like a game that needs cards. Um, because you, I had to write all this out. See all these, yep, all these ratings. I had to write them all out, and then I had to write all these out. So now I would have to for a new game like the third receiver start. Let's say he plays Atlanta. Now I got to do the same thing for Atlanta, and this is, doesn't stay the same, right? Because I play actual lineups. So now there could be three new guys in there. Three new guys, and so three guys are out, three guys are in, and they have all different ratings. So then I would have to kind of create the whole log again. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this game because it's a lot of fun. It's just I don't see it. Uh, I don't see the game. Uh, me being able to play like a whole, even a whole pitching season, right? A replay, a pitcher's replay. I kick. It would just be 36 times I would have to redo all these stats on a piece of paper. There are no cards for the for the players. So I know there is on uh, the Downey website, there is an app to create the player cards. At least if I created the Mets, then I could work my way through uh, creating the, 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 the opposing teams. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I'm going to see what happens. Uh, I'm going to get 1970 with a couple of different sets so I can learn the players. I want to be able to learn the players a little bit. Anyway, this is CP Cards and Dice. I hope you enjoyed the presentation of Back to Basics tutorial. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty fun. I did make a mistake here in this inning, but I try to make it up a little bit in the next inning. In this one here, it was the eighth inning. Uh, let's see, no, that's the ninth. Eighth inning right here, I believe. Seaver should have been a, a B, and I think I counted him as an A. So there was a mistake, and that's the nature of the beast. We're all human. So... Uh, not that it would have made a difference. There's no guarantee it would make any difference at all. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Mets win it by a score of 2-1 to one in 12 innings against the St. Louis Cardinals. There's no hits in that last inning. So the Mets had uh, two runs on how many, how many hits did I say they had, the Mets had? Three, four, five, six, seven, seven hits. Both teams had seven hits. And both, okay, so the Mets, two runs, seven hits, one error. The Cardinals, one run, seven hits, one error. Have a great night.